I'm Mike Levitis, lead engineer and designer, DSC Sport. What I'm showing you today is the Viper damper, which is essentially a two position damper. So it's got a soft and it's got a firm setting. One would look at it as street and track, but what we look at it is two design opportunity to have multiple type of dampers. Everything from drag racing to road racing to autocross can all be achieved through the algorithm of the DSC. What you're looking at right here are two different distinct patterns. A touring range, which is right here, and you got a sport range, which is here. These can be controlled through the DSC as to when they come in and how they're combined in the control strategy simply by going into the shock calibration table and adding those. We really never realized the power of the DSC until doing other cars. We started with the Viper, but since doing the Ford Focus, which has the same damper, we're able to create a different algorithm so you can have a nice riding car that handles better. And that can be achieved with a two-way shock. This will never be what the Tractive is. You'll never get multiple control configurations in real time. You'll always be stuck between two different maps, which is an obvious limitation, but one that can be um, optimized. So you can optimize this, and that's what we're gonna show you next. This graph depicts the tractive shock, and you can see the huge swing. Of, so you can have everything from a super soft, just nice cruising curve to very little low speed so that the tire is very nice and it doesn't upset the ride at all or the grip. And then you can see that you can really add a decent amount of low speed and high speed into the damper for control on the entrance to corners, that's rebound. You can see that you can have a soft nose in a glot of currents. This helps stop the tire from getting hurt on acceleration. So it's amazing as to the opportunity you have with the tractive shock you will see that as well we can take the factory shock and combine this in a way that makes it better than stock, but you'll never be able to achieve the full success of the tractive damper. But the beauty of getting the DSC controller to optimize the ride and optimize the performance is that at any time you can change the software in your DSC controller without even returning it to DSC Sport and just simply buying the shock absorbers. So you would bolt on the shocks and you would simply download the software and you would have the full availability of the tuned tractive suspension system. What we are able to do is create a strategy in which we can combine the two different type of graphs that the shock can go through to get a good road race shock, let's say a drag race setup. We, you can have a launch strategy for drag racing. There's a lot of things that there's capable of doing with the stock shock just by simply installing the DSC controller in your Viper. And this will work in all Gen 5 Viper if it comes with the electronic dampers. So it's basically from 2013 onward. This is a graph that I just ran on this stock Viper shock. And this is at the what we're going to call the soft range of the shock. Right now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to test a mode in which we are going to create a different control strategies. And you'll see that the way we've got the test worked out is that we are going to be operating in the shock in a multitude of, of strokes per inch. So this is a very accurate depiction. And what we're really getting from this is the true velocity of the shock. And you'll find out that there is two ranges and you might find out in some road racing in auto crossing, you might want to run the shock soft front and rear to have quick weight transfer. But on a road race track, you may want to have the front dampers come in before the rear so you can really plant the car on its front end and carry it into the corner. But all of that can be done inside of the DSC. And that is running at 10 inch per second at the end. So there are the two different control strategy. You'll see that this is at a lot of low speed. That's the reason the Viper rides so harsh when you're in the sport mode um, is due to this low speed. Anything under two inch per second is a lot of low speed. You can see the amount of rebound it's got, which uh, really tries to lift the tire, if anything. Fine for um, a road course um, when it's combined with the softer. 
to get some grip into the tire so you can kind of combine this. And that's what we found in the Ford Focus. So we're operating now at 10 inch per second. And this is the low speed. This would be the softer range. Low speed, it's got a decent amount of high speed range. But in order to really control the shock, you'd want to be able to combine that. This is the opening and closing of the actual shim stock in the valve. Because this makes it seem a little softer in the nose. Even though at the one inch per second, you're seeing a decent amount of force. You're seeing 150 foot pounds into it. Because of the hysteresis, it really seems a little softer for the driver. So that little bit of hysteresis really is not so terrible. I'm going to show the control strategy of the DSC computer on how this would be arranged for the Viper in order to get the control strategy. So that'll be the next part of this.